Now I am going to talk about Baswanna. Baswanna believed in Vishyanism. That is, he believed that there is equality of all human beings. And this idea emerged in Karnataka in the 12th century. They did not like the view that there are equals and there are inequals in the society. He said that all of us have emerged from the Supreme Lord and all of us are one, equal and therefore no such inequality on the basis of birth, caste or religion can be accepted. There were also great saints at Maharashtra at this time. During the period of 13th to 17th centuries, the saints who emerged in Maharashtra tried to spread the message of love and brotherhood by writing songs, which they would sing on their way to moving from one place to another. The great saints of Maharashtra, amongst them the most notable were Gyaneshwar, Namadev and Eknath. Even the saints emerged from the so called low caste or the Mahar caste that we had. So there was nothing as high caste and low caste that was believed by the saints of Maharashtra. They outwardly rejected ritualism. Ritualism means that believing in certain rituals and dogmas, that is to say that we have to do yajna, sacrifice, we have to keep fast, we have to show devotion to the Brahmins. So all such practices were outwardly rejected by the saints of Maharashtra. Another thing was that they even rejected renunciation, that is they did not believe that the true saint was the one who should renounce the world, who should leave his family and go to the forest. They believed that a true saint is the one who lives with the family, works, earns his living and but is saint at heart. Now Narsi Mehta, he is amongst one of the great saint again of Maharashtra who said that if we try and understand the pain of another heart, then we are a true saint. So according to him, the people who understand the pains of others and are not bothered about their own pain are in fact the true saints of the world.